As you grow and expand your business, you'll notice customers will start to bring you more complex work. Now, when you get to multiple color work, there's really two uh, ways you can do it. You can either do it four color process, which is CMYK, cyan, magenta, yellow, and black mixing together to create a full color image, or you can do it simulated process. Right now, we're going to cover quickly four color process. It's four screens, cyan, magenta, yellow, and black used in combination with halftones with our RIP software. We did a little bit of four color process separation earlier in the artwork section, but now we're actually going to do the print. Typically, four color process is printed light to dark, so yellow, magenta, cyan, and black. It's typically also printed wet on wet. The inks mix together to create the colors, so that's why we print them wet on wet on top of each other. The four color process ink is very thin, so you really don't need a lot of off contact when you actually print four color process. Because the inks are so thin, they're also transparent, which means that four color process is very difficult to do on dark garments. Now, some people have been successful with using a white underbase or using a discharge underbase, but 99% of the time, you're going to do four color process on a light garment. For dark garments, people typically switch to simulated process. Now, the printing part of four color process is fairly simple. The registration, though, is key. So having a press with micro registration or joystick adjustments is much, much easier to line up than, let's say, a tabletop press without those adjustments. So with this press, we've already lined the job up, and we're going to do this print of Mount St. Helens blowing up in a CMYK fashion. We'll simply load our shirt and make sure our pallets are sprayed here. Because four color process is printing wet on wet, we really don't need to use the press in rotary fashion. There's no need for a flash dryer, so we can pretty much load and then unload directly onto the conveyor dryer. Then we're going to print just one pass each. Now, sometimes for color process, you don't print one pass each. If the image needs to be more red, you might do two passes of magenta. Every image is different, but the thing you have to realize is every time you pull the squeegee, it has to be consistent. Four color process is much easier to accomplish on an automatic press because the pressure is consistent every single time. When you're manually printing, if I print it and then somebody else comes along and prints it, it could look completely different because the colors mix together differently. So I'm going to do just one pass of each color. A very uh, rigid squeegee angle, good amount of pressure, and then pull the squeegee across. Now you don't want ink to drip down back into your image area, so it needs to be picked up completely on the edge of your squeegee and then brought back. If ink drips down into your image area, it will skew the next print. Magenta. And as I print the colors, you'll see the image start to come to life. Now cyan. And then black always ties the image together. And there we have it. It's a beautiful four color process image, full color with just four screens. Things that you need is an AccuRip software to do the half tones, and then a press that can do fine detail registration. Now this is fine ink, and we're actually using, because of the 55 line half tone dot, we're using 305 mesh. We're also using the IC ProBright series of inks, which are a very popular type of four color process inks. That's how we do four color process printing. Let's go on to simulate a process on dark shirts in more of a production style of print.